And from Turkey, a newspaper.com. Deportation of Zionist ambassador in Amman is discussed in Jordan. The Jordanian House of Representatives has requested the government to expel the Zionist ambassador in Amman. According to the news of Jordanian state television Al Mamlaka, in the session held in the House of Representatives, Israel's far right finance minister Bezalel Smotrich used a map showing Jordan and Israeli land during a memorial service in Paris. The deputies who took the floor in the session reacted harshly to the Zionist minister. During the session, it was noteworthy that on the podium of the General Assembly, the Assembly there was a map similar to the one used by Smotrich containing the Jordanian and Palestine flags. <laughs> In his speech, Parliament Speaker Ahmed Es Safedi called on the government as the House of the Representatives, we demand effective actions from the government against the finance minister of the occupation government, which used the so-called Zionist map covering the borders of the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan and the occupied Palestinian territories. It's not the so-called Zionist, it would be the so-called Israeli Israel map, so-called Israel map. Reminding that international agreements have been violated, Safedi said this is a situation that cannot be ignored and is against the peace agreement signed between Jordan and Zionist Israel in 1994 and international norms. The deputies decided to request the government to expel the Zionist ambassador in Amman in a vote in the parliamentary session. In a written statement, the Foreign Relations Committee of the Parliament, a call was made to review the peace agreement between Jordan and the Zionist. In the statement, it was stated that Smotrich's actions will not harm Jordan and will not take away the right of the Palestinian people to self-determination and to live in an independent state. Zionist far-right minister Smotrich, in his speech at the commemoration of former Likud party chairman Jacques Kupfer during his visit to Paris on March 19, said, There's no such thing as Palestine and the White House should hear it. It was also noteworthy that Smotrich used the Zionist map, including Jordan, in the podium where he spoke. The Jordanian Ministry of Foreign Affairs reacted to the situation and emphasized that Smotrich's use of an Israeli map, so-called Israeli map, that included Jordan and the occupied, that included Jordan and the occupied Palestine territories, were a reckless pr provocation and a violation of international norms in the peace agreement. The ministry stated that the Zionist government should take a clear stance against such extremist behavior and hateful statements, and summoned Aitan Sorkis, Zionist ambassador to Amman, to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The Zionist Ministry of Foreign Affairs, on the other hand, made a short statement on March 24, stating that they respect Jordan's territorial integrity and are committed to the peace agreement that they signed with the country in 1994. The lower house on Wednesday voted in favor of a motion recommending the government to expel Zionist ambassadors to Jordan in pr protest of recent remarks made by a far-right minister in the Zionist government. During a legislative session attended by cabinet members, lower house speaker Ahmad Safadi called on the government to take effective measures against the Zionist minister of finance for using an alleged map of Israel that includes the borders of the kingdom and the occupied Palestinian territories, according to the Jordanian news agency Petra. The lawmakers expressed their rejection of the Zionist minister's actions and affirmed their support for the leadership of His Majesty King Abdul and the armed forces in defending the country and its sovereignty. They also criticized the Zionist minister's actions as lacking respect for international treaties and conventions. In response to the deputies' interventions, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of, Loco of Local Administration Talfi Kreshan stated that such events unify the Jordanians and emphasize that the map of Jordan is drawn solely by Jordanians. During Wednesday's session, Safadi also called for effective measures to be taken regarding the finance minister's actions, pointing out that this is a matter that cannot be ignored and continues a breach of the peace treaty and international norms. The occupation forces criminal and extremist actions undermine comprehensive peace efforts, he said. Safadi confirmed that the House will take urgent action with Arab and international parliaments and will address their governments to expose the occupation and take steps to reject all extremist measures undertaken. 
He also emphasized that the Al-Karami battle will always serve as a testament to the resilience and unwavering determination of Jordanians, adding that any misguided actions of extremists within the occupation government will be met with resistance, according to Petra. Jordan, Jordan Parliament votes to expel Zionist ambassador. This is from Ashark al-Assad. Jordan's parliamentary voted on Wednesday to expel the Zionist ambassador in Amman in protest of Betzalel Smotrich's appearance at a podium appeared with a Zionist flag that included all of Jordan and the Palestinian territories. House Speaker Ahmed Safadi called on the government to effective to take effective measures against the minister's statement and behavior. Uh, MP said Smotrich's behavior reflects a Zionist arrogance and disrespect of international treaties and conventions. The vote's not binding to the government, but reflects public outrage at the Zionist far-right provocations against the Palestinians and Jordanians. Smotrich's appearance and ensuing remarks in which he claimed there's no such thing as a Palestinian people sparked furor in the Arab and Muslim worlds. Saudi Arabia condemned on Tuesday the minister's offensive and racist remarks. The foreign minister underscored the kingdom's rejection of such basic statements that only stoke hatred and violence and undermine international efforts for peace and dialogue. Jordan's foreign minister, Ayman Safadi, decried on Tuesday the minister's comments as racist. Amman, late on Monday, summoned the Israeli ambassador in Jordan and said Smotrich's move was provocative and extremist and racist, and it violated international norms and Jordan's peace treaty with the Zionists. From Globe World News Echo, the Jordanian parliament votes to expel the Israeli ambassador. Yesterday, the Jordanian parliament voted on a recommendation to the government to expel the Zionist ambassador from Oman in protest against the racial statements and actions of the Zionist finance minister, Betzalel Smotrich, toward, Ju toward Jordan and Palestine. According to the Jordan news agency Petra, this came during the legislative session held yesterday by the House of Representatives, headed by its speaker Ahmed El Safadi, and in the presence of the cabinet. Al Safadi called on the government to take effective and effective measures against the Zionist Minister of Finance's use of an alleged map that included borders of the kingdom and the occupied Palestinian territories. The deputies affirmed their rejection of what came from the Zionist minister's actions, stressing their understanding behind the leadership of King Abdullah II and the armed forces, the Arab army, and the security services in confronting anyone who tries to undermine the homeland and its sovereignty. They pointed out what the Zionist minister did reflects a Zionist arrogance that does not respect international treaties and covenants, calling on the government to take action to confront these reckless behaviors. From Barat Times, Amman's parliamentary or parliament displays Israel with Palestine Jordan flags calls to expel the envoy. Amman's parliament displays Zionist flag with Palestine Jordan flag calls to expel envoy. Jordan's parliament on Wednesday recommended expelling Zionist ambassador in the center of his chamber, displaying a map of Jordan, Zionist Israel, and the West Bank and the Gaza Strip, all under the colors of the Jordanian and Palestinian flag. The vote and the map came in response to a speech over the weekend by Zionist finance minister Betzalel Smotrich, in which he claimed the Palestinian people an invention while standing with a map of greater so-called Israel that includes the Hashemite Kingdom's territory according to the fanatical aspirations of some fringe extremists. The expulsion of Zionist Ambassador Eitan Circus would require approval from the Jordanian government, an unlikely scenario Circus was summoned by Amman's foreign ministry on Monday night in protest of Smotrich's speech. Symbolic votes to expel Zionist envoys are common at a time of heightened tensions between Jerusalem and Amman. In May 2021, Jordanian MP unanimously called the Zionist envoy was expelled by the government amid Operation Guardian of the Wall on 11, an 11-day 11 war between Zionist and militant groups in the Gaza Strip. Speaking in Paris at a private memorial service on Sunday for a prominent right-wing Likud activist, Smotrich claimed that the Palestinian people are an invention from the last century and that people like him and his grandparents were the real Palestinians. Smotrich said that there was no such thing as Palestinians because there's no such thing as Palestinian people, a comment that was met with applause and cheers from attendees in footage posted online. Your inconsistencies are glaringly obvious. Tell me this, Sir Smotrich. How might it be that you are Palestinian and the Palestinians do not exist? 
simultaneously. How is this possible? Mm. Do you know who the Palestinians are? Asked the head of the ultra-nationalist religious Zionism party and Zionist finance minister. I am Palestinian, he said. Referred to his grandmother, who was born 100 years ago in the northern Zionist town of Metula, and his grandfather, a 13th generation Jerusalemite, as real as Palestinians. 13th generation. The truth needs to be heard in Washington at the White House. The whole world needs to hear this truth because it's the truth, and the truth will prevail. What is this nothing you talk about? What is this nothing you talk about? The comments drew a harsh response from the Jordanian foreign minister, which called them a reckless provocation and a violation of international norms in the Jordan Peace Treaty. Given Jordan's anger over the speech, Zionist foreign minister sought to tone down the response. Zionists remain committed to the 1994 peace accord with Jordan. There's no change in the position of the state of the Zionists, which recognizes the territorial integrity of the Hashemite kingdom, the ministry tweeted in both Hebrew and English. It didn't mention Smudger's remarks about the Palestinians. And a Zionist diplomat told the Times of Zionists on Wednesday that Jerusalem understood Jordan's sensitivities, adding that they were working to send a message of reconciliation. Zionist relationship with Jordan is vital to regional peace and stability, the official said. They got their message across, the official said, stressing that the foreign ministry is acting on the basis of the government's decision to strengthen ties with Jordan because they're important. The United States got included and several other countries condemned the comments on Tuesday. Jordan's King Hussein holds a light to Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin's cigarette after the Jordan Peace Treaty signed ceremony in Aqaba, Jordan, Wednesday in 1994, October 6th. 26, 1994. Wow, that's really interesting. So, Smotrich has a history of making inflammatory statements against Palestinians, Arab citizens of Zionist Israel, non-Orthodox Jews, and the LGBTQ community. Earlier this m month, he said he would wipe out Palestinians um, in West Bank. His comments come after Zionist and PA delegations held a relatively rare but low-stakes regional summit in Sharm el-Sheikh um, on Sunday, where they sought to ease tensions just days before the start of the Muslim holy month of Ramadan was recommended. They also agreed to combat incitement to violence. And from Al Mayadeen, Amman calls for expulsion of Zionist envoy over Smotrich statements. The Jordanian parliament asked the government to expel the Zionist ambassador to Amman in protest of the statements made by Zionist finance minister Betzalel Smotrich as well as his as well as his actions. Al Mayadeen's correspondent reported on Wednesday the Jordanian MPs voted unanimously on the request to expel Tel Aviv's ambassador. Al Mayadeen correspondent reported adding that the Jordanian parliament raised during the session a map similar to the one used by Smotrich in Paris, but it had the Jordanian and Palestinian flags. During his participation in an event in Paris, Smotrich, who heads the religious Zionist party, appeared on Sunday giving a speech on a podium bearing the map of the so-called Greater Israel, which included Jordan and the occupied Palestinian territories. Moreover, during this event, the Zionist far-right minister claimed that there is no such thing as Palestine because there is no such thing as Palestinian people. Who are the real Palestinians? I'm Palestinian, he said, adding that Palestinian people are an invention of less than 100 years ago. What is this nothing you talk about? His, st his statements and actions are a reckless incitement and a violation of international norms and the Jordanian Zionist peace treaty, said Jordan Foreign, Foreign Minister spokesman Sanan Majali. We also condemn the racist and extremist inciting statements made by the extremist Zionist minister against the brotherly Palestinian people, their right to exist, and their historical rights in their independent and sovereign state on the Palestinian national soil, Majali underlined. The Jordanian spokesperson said that Smotrich's actions were dangerous, underlining that Israeli occupation government must take a clear and open position toward such extremists and the inflammatory and malicious statements by a serving minister. The statement called on the international community to condemn Smotrich's inflammatory actions and statements which are in violation of human values and principles. In response, the Zionist Occupation Foreign Ministry claimed later on Monday that Zionists are committed to the peace agreement with Jordan from 1994. 
There's been no change in the position of the state of the Zionists, which recognizes the territorial integrity of the Hashemite kingdom, the occupation ministry insisted. Earlier, Palestinian Prime Minister Mohammed Shtaya blasted the inflammatory remarks made by Shmotrich. Speaking before the cabinet meeting of the Palestinian Authority on Monday, Shtaya said the inflammatory statements are consistent with the first Zionist sayings of a land without a people for a people without a land. Deportation of Zionist Ambassador in Jordan, Amman, discussed in Jordan. According to the news of Jordanian state television Al Mamlaka, the session held in the House of Representatives, Zionist far right minister, finance minister Betzal Smotrich used a map showing Jordan as Zionist land during a memorial service in Paris. The deputies who took the floor in the session reacted harshly to the Israeli minister. And during the session, it was noteworthy that on the podium of the General Assembly, there was a map similar to the one used by Smotrich containing the Jordanian and Palestinian flags. In his speech, Parliament Speaker Ahmed Esafedi called on the government as the House of Representatives. We demand effective actions from the government against the finance minister of the occupation government, which uses the so-called Zionist map covering the borders of the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan and the occupied Palestine territories. Reminding the, that international agreements have been violated, Safedi said this is a situation that cannot be ignored and is against the peace agreement signed by Jordan and the Zionists in 1994. I'm going to open up a channel here. <laughs> 